Hi, this is Brian with King Grizzly. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a couple different ways to do clipping and masking of images in Elementor. So what that means is creating uh, more interesting looking uh, image designs just by kind of changing the way the shape of the image looks. So here I just did this sort of angular effect to create a more interesting panel. So I'll show you a couple of good ways to do this and we can even do custom shapes. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, so here's an empty page. I just dragged in a uh, image widget from the widget library here. So there's two ways we can do this. Uh, one is with a custom shape that we clip the image into, and then the other is some CSS. Let's do the CSS first. There's this handy website I'll link to um, where you can actually choose from a bunch of preset shapes and it generates the code here at the bottom. It's so nice. And you can even put this clipping on things other than widgets. Like you could clip a container if you wanted to into a shape. But let's say we wanted a pentagon. All I would need is this code. I come down here, I copy it. I go back over to my page, wherever that is, click on the image. And then I could go to the advanced tab, go down to CSS, and then I type the word selector just to grab this one particular uh, widget. And then I paste it and there we go. Um, I've got the shape uh, already. So what's interesting, uh, now my shape was sort of like uh, three to two, not square. So what I may want to do uh, is make my image a uh, perfect square. Um, I actually have another video about uh, ratios, so I could enforce that it would be a perfect square, or I could upload uh, a square image, but it, it does do the clipping uh, correctly. And what's cool is we can drag these. So if I wanted to come up with some other layout, um, like say I wanted to just sort of create like a notched image like this sort of an effect. Make sure I've got all these dragged out to the edges. The CSS should be updating. I'll copy that. I'm gonna come back over here and paste this in. There we go. Cool, huh? So you can make lots of nice little shapes. So that that's how I did that sort of angular one. If we go back to that other site, if I click on that image, I go to the advanced tab, custom CSS. I added a little extra here because I was trying to position it, but all I really needed was this, this clip path CSS. So if we come over here and try that CSS on our image, look at that. So nice, so easy. And like I said, this can work on containers. So that's one way to, to clip a shape. So I'll link to that website. The other is if you click on the image widget and go to advanced tab and mask, we need to turn on masking. Elementor actually has some similar types of shapes already built in, but what I like, and maybe if you just need a, a triangle or something, you can go with the preset, but you can upload a custom shape. Um, so what I've done, if we look at Illustrator, I've got this sort of swipe file here of thing. I'm building a new King Grizzly website. So I've got all my, excuse me, icons and things. So I'm gonna export a few SVGs uh, here out of uh, Illustrator just as a test. So uh, let's go find one. We'll choose an SVG. I've uploaded these into the library. So let's say we wanted to put that image into the Elementor logo. Look at that, just like that. In fact, let's choose an image that's more interesting looking. Um, no, that's fun. Look at that. So the, the E is actually see-through. So if I change the background, color on my page to something else. Oh, whoops. Did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right. Yeah, okay. So like white, we can see right through it. Pink. And then uh, <clears throat> we could try a different shape. So if I repick the image, go to style advan or advanced, back to mask, and let's try a different shape. So I, up I uploaded the King Grizzly logo, select, check it out, pretty cool, huh? So that's really it. Um, you can use that quick CSS to do some, some clipping of images and shapes, or you can mask shapes here um, by uploading SVG images into Elementor. Really great way to make more interesting designs and not very difficult. So uh, if you didn't know that, hopefully you enjoyed uh, learning that. Um, if that was helpful, please consider subscribing and I hope you have a very nice day.